All right, so I'm Jason. I'm here to help kind of give you some information about these, this physical model that we're going to use to demonstrate movement in three-dimensional space. So essentially, we are working with three axes. We have the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. Now, this model is considerably larger than the one that uh, um, your students will have built but we'll, uh, we'll get the, uh, the idea across here with it. So uh, most of your students are gonna be familiar with the XY coordinate plane, okay? So if we're looking at that and students might be, you know, looking at graphing on the XY plane, we have this right here, but then we're going to add another component with the Z axis coming upwards into three-dimensional space, so running in this direction. And so now students are going to be exploring um, rotations on these three axes. And so these rotations are directly related to uh, movement in three-dimensional space. And so this uh, movement is also associated with, with uh, aeronautics, the same type of terminology, and this model will, will serve to help students understand how they are controlling their shark with the joystick that they're building in the virtual shark environment on Excel, and then also to, also to understand some of the mathematics behind uh, uh, some of these different components in the lesson. So once students have built this, they can start to look at some of these different rotations. So right here on the x-axis, okay, so if we are looking at this, here is our shark, and we have these three axes, and we can you know kind of think of this as one shark in in these different positions and how they're gonna rotate. So as the shark is traveling along, if it were traveling from my right to my left here, um, rotation on the x-axis would give it this rolling motion. Okay, if the shark wanted to move upward, then we would have some rotations on the y-axis and then it would move upward in the water column and downward in the water column. And then over here on the z-axis, we have what is described as yaw. And so moving to the left and to the right to either avoid obstacles, come up, go after prey, or move around wherever the shark wants to move. So once again, we have these concepts of pitch, roll, and yaw. So again, um, we have the roll component with the x-axis. We have pitch up and down with the y-axis and then the left and the right movement with the z-axis. And these are all um, rotations that are, uh, you know, related to the, to, uh, um, the geometry of objects that are moving in three-dimensional space.